Hey guys, welcome to BitGlen, and today we're just going to talk about where the currencies are as of first thing Monday morning. So it's now 9.50 actually, so almost 10 o'clock in the morning, so I suppose that ain't first thing. <laughs> but I've been up since first thing, so um, I've been keeping my eye on it. So I did a video on Thursday night, Friday, saying that I think over the weekend that Bitcoin would um, be worth $8,000, which in our money is close to £6,000. Um and yeah, I was right. So um, let's have a little look here on these charts. So this is a week chart. So I said it on Thursday night. So that would have been November the 19th, 18th, 17th, 16th. So say here when it was worth about five, six, let's say five, eight. Um, since then, it sort of bubbled up and down. Um, getting close to the 6,000 mark. It did actually hit it at one point there, and then it dipped down, and then it sort of hovered around the 5.9 mark, and then it did hit the 6 grand mark, um, and it actually went all the way up to 6.118 at one point, and now it's sort of hovering around the 6 grand, um, which in American money is about $8,000. So, um, well, let's have a little look, actually. On the uh, coinmarketcap.com, they're saying Bitcoin, today's price is $8,048. So well done to me, pat on the back. <laughs> um, but obviously, I've only got a small amount of money to invested in it. So um, obviously, I'm not going to reap the benefits of that anytime soon. But um, it's given me an understanding of um, the Bitcoin and where it's sort of heading over time. I'm not saying I know where eventually it's going to head up. But... Really excited. Let's have a little look at the others. So, Ethereum, um, that's sort of hovering in between the sort of 250 mark, I'd say, $250 over the last uh, week or month or so. The lowest it went down to at one point was 211, and the highest it's been is 275. I'm hoping that Ethereum does well and sort of goes up way past that, obviously. Uh, I suppose we're all thinking that, but. Um, I'm investing in that new company, Environ, which is uh, buying some tokens, if you like, on December the 1st. And uh, obviously, they're going to pay out in Ethereum tokens, uh, coins. So I don't know whether to obviously keep hold of them or just keep trading them in for Bitcoins because Bitcoin's going up at a faster rate than Ethereum is. But I think once the difficulty jumps up um, and you're only getting half the amount of payout, this coin's become comes a bit more sought after I suppose and uh, I see it going up past the 300 pound mark I, I can see this being a 500 to a thousand pound coin I know that's what I brought I saw some videos last night and they were saying oh this time next year it's going to be worth a thousand pounds I think that's too much but I do see it going sort of past the 500 mark which if you're putting a hundred pound in today uh, this time next year and it is worth 500 pounds which in dollars I suppose is eight hundred dollars but that's um you're doubling your money there so um yeah that's that's a good investment in a year i suppose <laughs> um but yeah that's where Ethereum is hovering around the sort of 250 mark and at the moment it's sort of up there at 260 270 and then you've got litecoin litecoin sort of stayed um for a little while now anyway over the last couple of weeks it's been around the sort of 40 to 50 mark uh, currently, it's at 53. Again, I like coin. I don't really hear too much about Litecoin. I don't see many videos about it and people talk about it. And um, there was, I saw some videos, but they were like sort of six months ago. They were saying, oh, Litecoin's going to jump up massive. But obviously, it hasn't. It still stayed the same as what where they're at sort of a month ago, really. Um, if we look back at um, October the... What's that? October the 21st. Today's October, November the 20th, so exactly a month ago. Um, it was at $44, and now it's at, at pound, sorry. <laughs> and now it's at 53, so it's gone up um, 10 pound in a month. Obviously, it's had a little, um, it's had a bit of a journey on along the way. But I don't really hear too much about Litecoin, and apparently the difficulty of that and the halving of the re mining rewards is going to happen next year. So obviously, this will become an even more scarce resource then. Um, and it'll be harder to come by. So maybe that will push the price up. So maybe now's a good time to buy them while they're sort of cheapish. Could probably buy a few coins and hope they do shoot up to sort of 100, 200 per coin in the future. Obviously, again, that making a very good uh, investment. So um, 
yeah, these are definitely ones to keep an eye on, but it's all about Bitcoin. Just everyone wants Bitcoin. Um, if you look at the market caps, uh, the actual supply of them, how many are actually in circulation. So this is saying there's just under, well, there's 16,690,000. So just under 17 million in circulation. Whereas if you look at, say, Erethium, there's 95 million of them. So there's a lot more to go about. Bitcoin Cash is only 16 million. Um, Ripple's got some ridiculous number attached to it. That can't be mined, Ripple. So the what's there is there, I believe, from my understanding. Uh, Litecoin, there's 53 million. So that's quite a lot um, in circulation. So Bitcoin definitely, um, that's the most Bitcoins are ever going to go up to is 21 million. So that's it. So there's only, what's that, 4 million left? Um, so there's 4 million to be found, and I believe that's between now and 2,000 and 2,140. So we've got the next uh, 120 years, there's only going to be 4 more million Bitcoin. And that's, you know, so you're talking past my lifetime and going into my kids' lifetime, there's only going to be 4 more million Bitcoins out there and in circulation. So, um, yeah, that's obviously always, you've got something that is not going up in um, in quantity, so that there's only so much of it, and everyone wants a piece of it, so it can only go one way. Same with housing market, same with any other market. When you've got something, and I think of houses because I buy, I buy do up and try and sell houses. I've been doing it for a while. And the reason that house markets, the only reason they go up is because there's about a million people wanting to get on the housing market um, and there's only about a thousand houses. So, <laughs> you know, you think of a house, people always just assume, oh yeah, that's how much houses are worth. But when I think like a house, my house here is a three bedroom house, but I think of it being worth 300,000, that's silly money. You know, houses are about 80 to 100 grand to build. So really they should only be worth, if it looks nice, 120,000. But 300,000, it's getting to a point where it's not sustainable because how are people, you know, you'd have to, to get that, you'd have to be earning at least £50,000 a year because that's six, you know, that's going to be six times your wage, which is still not enough. You'd have to be earning sixty grand a year. So you even need to put a massive deposit down to make it so that, or you need some help, which in the UK we have help to buy scheme here, which I suppose if that carries on, they, the house prices could keep going up because the government are helping you. But you're never actually going to own your home. The government's going to own a percentage of it and you're going to own only the uh, other half of it. So anyway, that's to me, that's, um, that's the same with this Bitcoin. There's only so many coins on the table, but there's loads of hands going in trying to get them and eventually whoever's got them we're going to say well actually if you want one it's i want twenty thousand for it and that is where actually this uh, guy called um mike i'm going to pronounce the name novagratz i hope that's right he uh, done a video with Reuters, and he was sort of suggesting that this is the currency of the future and this is bigger than it's going to be bigger than the internet at some point and this is going to change our way of life not just because of the money aspect of it, but the actual blockchain that it follows, um, they're saying they're going to in implement that in all different areas of life, so social media, internet, um, the way we buy things. And uh, the actual blockchain technology is actually the thing that everyone's sort of really excited about and uh, coming up with all these new ideas of way of doing things. So, um, But he was saying that he, he, he says, but... The title win here, I'll just tell you, the title says here, Bitcoin 2 hit 20,000 by December 18. You have to be careful when you read these sort of titles because when you actually watch the video of him saying that, he sort of says, yeah, who's to say it couldn't be worth 20,000 by this time next year? But And then he sort of cut, goes on quickly. But they've just picked up on that small snippet and just put Bitcoin is to be worth 20,000. So be a bit skeptical of that but i actually uh, agree with him i can't see why based on these you know uh, numbers going up i remember looking at bitcoins like i said in my previous videos um a few months ago it was probably must have been four or five months ago now 
So where would that have been? Let's have a look at a year. It was in, yeah, it was in sort of uh, June time. We went to a caravan site. Um, we stayed at Haven. And we was watching a BBC report and they mentioned about Bitcoin. And my partner said, what's this Bitcoin all about? And I said, oh, yeah, they're worth like, well, let's have a look here. And I remember saying, oh, they're worth about £2,000 of Bitcoin. And she said, £2,000 for a bit of online something. And I said, yeah, it's just a code. You're really, you're just buying an item of code. And she said, that's ridiculous. No one's going to do that. But <laughs> Obviously, she was wrong, as always. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She's always right. Uh, back in sort of uh, June time, and then heading into the July, it was 1,900, went down to 1,500. And between then and now, so heading into Christmas, and now we're talking 6,000 pounds. So um, that's, you know, I wish I'd... I said to her then, oh, well, you know, we should buy some Bitcoin. And she said, no, Glenn, it's just one of your stupid ideas again. Um, and she's really, even to this day, actually, watch, if you're watching this video, I get a lot of stick from my wife, my mother-in-law, my friends... They all say, nah, 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 um, you're talking silly, Glenn. But you never hear of someone saying, oh, yeah, I was thinking of starting up this or doing this, and everyone was really supportive. You never hear that. You know, the man who invented the mobile phone, I'm sure he had people saying, who's going to want a phone with them all the time? Um, you know, so don't listen to him. Go with your gut feeling. So if you think that this is the way forward, then I would suggest putting some money in here, even if it's, don't go and put all your life savings in it just in case, but you do want to have something in there because you're going to only kick yourself later. It's going to be more painful saying, I put a thousand pound into that and it didn't take off. Oh, well, I, you know, you know, obviously if you did that with your whole life savings, you'd be absolutely devastated, but you're going to be even more pissed off if you say oh my god i remember watching this video with this fat guy uh, <laughs> called glenn and he was talking about the bitcoins being worth six thousand and he said they may be worth twenty thousand one day and i laughed ha 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 or i i chose not to um take part in it so i haven't invested in it now i've i want to go and buy this uh you know I want to go and buy a new car, but they only accept Bitcoin. How do I buy one? Oh, I have to go online and buy them off someone or through a, an exchange service like Coinbase. Oh, let's see how much they're worth. Oh, one Bitcoin is £20,000. Oh, I wish I'd bought it a year ago. So that's going to be more painful, in my opinion. Um, so, I, you know, I'm definitely going to invest more money. I was talking to one of my friends that sort of, uh, we're sort of going to, go halves on ventures and that and uh, so it's not as painful and we're trying to cover all three bases actually so we want to i i was trying to weigh up and i don't know if to mention this in another video but we were trying to weigh up three different ways of doing it mining just buying it through e coinbase or whoever and just holding on to them um, as opposed to cloud mining and um, at the minute it's the cloud mining options a um, bit scarce we have genesis mining one of the most trusted websites not selling any bitcoin mining because they're sold out um mining ourselves setting up a machine um i've got someone on the go with that my brother-in-law he's a it technician for a college and he started mining and we're watching the process um we're using a software called nice hash and he, we were talking last night he's actually mined within about a week he's mined about fifty dollars worth of bitcoin um and he's going to try and withdraw that see what the fees are and see how much he's actually up by as opposed to obviously the electricity costs so we're weighing up all the different options whatever one that we i feel is the most profitable um and most stress-free to be honest uh, then we'll probably go in deep with that one so you know my gut feeling at the moment is to just this is a gut feeling this is a you're seeing into my mind i'm telling you a snippet of information from my mind as of now it may change over the course of the next few days or weeks my gut feeling is to buy bitcoin uh just put your money into it because by the time you mine pay for electricity the equipment and how long it takes to mine it might take you a year to accumulate what you spent so it might take you a year to accumulate two thousand pounds worth of bitcoins as to opposed to the two thousand that you spent at the beginning um trying to um 
get that investment back. But then saying that, £2,000 worth of Bitcoins today may be worth 20000 next year. So then that way it is way worth mining. Um, and it was way worth doing the um, cost. But would it not just been easier to just invest £2,000 today in just buying a Bitcoin and just sitting on it? Because that same £2,000 that you were going to spend on all that equipment is going to be worth... 20,000 anyway, or whatever it may be, you know, I'm just guessing. And the other one's cloud mining. Obviously, uh, I haven't had too much good experience with that. I started mining with Genesis, mining some Erethium at a very low cost. Uh, I think I did the cheapest package just to see how it works and what the fees were and how much I actually gained. And then I was going to try and buy more. But um, because I'm new to the platform, I think I have to wait 30 days. So um, I bought it, what, about a week ago. So I've got to wait another three weeks before I start seeing um, what I can actually withdraw and what I've actually mined out of it. So that's my gut feeling at the minute. Let me know what you guys think, what you feel is the best way forward to invest in Bitcoin and in currencies. And um, we'll have a discussion down below. I've been watching, trying to follow some new YouTubers um, going into the cryptocurrency world, same as me. And uh, there's some really good content out there, people with some really good knowledge um, and really sort of a technical insight. So it depends what route you want to go down. There's a lot of information available on YouTube, but um, I'm sort of trying to bring it in a very easy to understand. I'm trying to talk to you through the camera as if you was my my wife, you know, <laughs> trying to explain it to her. I have to really numb it down um, because then it's just easier for the masses to understand. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos from me and updates on the Bitcoin currency. And uh, yeah, um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook page. And it's all just BitGlen, uh, really simple. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video of BitGlen. See you later, guys. Bye.